Hey guys, so I just made it to my office. I hope you guys really enjoy this vlog and enjoy bits and pieces of my pregnancy. I'm gonna be vlogging a lot more now, keeping you guys in tune with my pregnancy. This one, I am actually feeling better sooner. Before, I felt like I was sick the entire time, so I wasn't able to like document anything or really post, but this one, I'm trying to make the most out of it. I feel better. Well, I feel a little bit better. I still have the spitting thing. So I have gum in my mouth all day. I don't know what it is. I just produce a lot of saliva and for some reason I just have to spit a lot. So I was walking around with a spit cup. Now that I have the gum, sugar free, um, it helps me from just spitting constantly. So does anybody else have that? I think I've asked that before or I think I asked that like later in the video, but it is so disgusting and it's so annoying. <laughs> and a lot of people don't get it. I think I've only met two people in my life that have had that, so yeah not to get back into that but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this vlog we're super excited for baby girl and i don't know it's like i'm feeling like i don't want to have any more kids after this but i kind of want to try for one more like a boy or a girl i don't know we'll see just with how sick i get i don't know <laughs> i don't know if i could do it again, but we'll see i don't know <laughs> Today, I am going to be talking about what vitamins I take. As you know, I still take care of. Um, and they went together and switched my pack to a maternity pack. So I'm taking prenatals in my package right now. I'm super excited because I didn't have to go and see like, what's the best prenatal or what's this or what's that. It literally came and it has everything listed here that's in my pack. So I have a prenatal, omega fish oil, calcium, and a probiotic blend, which is good for my gut health. It's really easy when you go on the website, you just take a quiz and you know, you can customize your needs. Every pack comes customized, saying your name at the top. I'm super glad that I didn't have to switch over vitamin companies. I just can use the same one that I've been using because I live by care of. If you wanna go on the website and see what fits your needs, you can take the quiz. It's super easy. You just put in, you know, your daily routine and it's super, super easy once you take the quiz. If you wanna use my code JOY50 to get 50% off your first order, you just go to the website and use my code JOY50 at checkout. I've been feeling much better these days. Thank God I'm out of my first trimester. I still kind of have trouble sleeping. I'm like tossing and turning. I think just because I have to use the bathroom so much at night, when you have to get up and use the bathroom, it kind of like cuts into your sleep schedule. So <laughs> I tend to be like up after I use the bathroom for like 30 minutes to an hour, then I fall back asleep. But overall, I'm just so blessed because I'm feeling so much better and I'm not all like nauseous how I was. It was so bad, you guys. Like, I couldn't even fathom the idea of leaving my house, literally. But yeah, I'm super excited. I'm back working, back working out. I'm gonna get back and dance. I have taken like one or two classes, but I was super sick and I just didn't have any energy. So now that I have some energy and I'm feeling better, I'm gonna be back in the studio dancing and doing stuff outdoors. So yeah. Okay, so it's raining in LA right now and I'm going to pick up the cake for the shoot. I know the gender of the baby and I got this really cute cake made and the inside of the cake is gonna have the color of gender of the baby which i know and i'm so excited for joy to find out and it's gonna be so cute so it's literally pouring here um so let's go get this cake oh my gosh the cake is so cute it says baby is a <gasps> and then the inside will show the gender Maybe it'll either be pink or blue, but how cute. Ah! Marie, I knew it. That's why I wore this outfit. I knew it. I really, I really was excited because I wanted a girl. Sorry to jump right into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've missed you so much. Um, but Marie wouldn't tell me. She just gave me the address for the location. I was like, I want to shoot my gender reveal shoot. So I brought like, a blue dress and I brought a pink dress and I just wore this outfit because I was like I think it's a girl and I'm trying to stay like on the positive side of it being a girl because I just want another girl shy really wants another girl so she's gonna be super excited because 
She was like, if it's a boy, I don't know what I'm gonna do because Hendrix is already too much. So I know she's gonna be super happy and excited. And so I'm excited. Joy and Life, new collection. See, that's a, that's, a, that's a good luck sign. I knew it. Why is everybody so quiet? <laughs> like, this is it's weird. Your, it's your thing. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> There's your work you do, yeah. But yeah, but it's like. And mm -hmm. I was wanna, we don't want to over talk. We want the people to hear what you're trying to mm -hmm. tell them first. So. It's your fans, girl. Yeah, but I'm here for you. I'm here for it. Congratulations! Thank you. That's what I was like. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, that's what I was waiting on. Not like talking with me, but just like, oh, my God. How exciting. Like, you know I'm so geek for you. <laughs> pink, 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 pink. And, and what is pink. my least favorite color? Your least favorite color is pink. <laughs> when Marie was like, oh, let's do Valentine's Day collection. Like, I was like, yeah, red. She's like, I was thinking like a pink. And I'm like... <laughs> Oh gosh, it's just so, I don't know. I just, I don't know why I don't like pink. Probably because, remember when I was growing up, I used to have so much Pepto Bismol for my stomach. And that color <laughs> oh my just, God. it just Scarred. makes my stomach turn. Too. Yeah, so every time I see pink, I just think Pepto Bismol and it just like, I don't know, I never liked it. Well, we have tons of shades of pink as Marie works the room, <laughs> you can see. Pink, 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 pink options everywhere. Lots of pink. Lots of, lots of pink. It's giving girl, it's giving young lady, it's giving baby girl. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving baby. <laughs> She's like, oh, you want me to talk? Okay. <laughs> When I walked in, I was like, I am not on theme. Right. I, I walked in, she's like, agree. so are you having a girl? <laughs> <laughs> Marie, so you're the greatest. These are all of Joy's outfits that she's wearing for the shoot. <laughs> <laughs> this one especially. Could you imagine like this with this and the hat? I Oh my God. And the pink boots. <gasps> you have to wear the boots. No, absolutely not. I'm so excited. I can't wait to like comb hair again and put like hair bows in. Like girls are just so much easier. You can like put something in their hair, put a little bow in it, put a little dress or skirt. Yeah, oh, and they like little overalls. Oh, so cute little sandals. I used to buy shy jellies and stuff. Yeah, you were 20 too. <laughs> so question, are you gonna do the dress and match your daughter's thing? You know, like you and your kids and everybody has a matching outfits your big girl your little girl the mom uh what are you talking about you know sometimes you see moms who have multiple children like two girls one boy and they'll have them the two girls dressed alike but the big girl will have on something a little bit different than the little girl but it may be the same similar outfit no you're not gonna dress like your absolutely girl. not <laughs> I cringe when I see that. <laughs> it's like you just had to go with the junior uh, style and the baby style, and then the son has on the collared button down. Like, no. Everybody has to have their own individual. I think Shy and Hendrix do a good job at that, though. They do. Hendrix has been getting himself dressed, guys. And Spider Man. No. His feet were on the wrong shoe. His shoe broke. Literally put his shoes on the wrong feet. But yeah, and he's trying to move out every other day week okay. if he doesn't get his way he's like i'm leaving <laughs> and i'm like where he grabs his suitcase like i'm like where are you going he's like i'm leaving here i'm going to yaya's house or i'm going to my dad's house i'm like okay hendrix like why why are you leaving mommy he's like because you won't give me the remote <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. it's the funniest thing i'm like you don't have to be so dramatic and then i'll, I'll just give it to him like, Wake up again. Fine. we can watch spider-man for the 20th time today i what? probably know it word for word and you know in those cartoons my mom was like rewind that back and i was he was watching like batman and robin like a little series um mm -hmm. of it and robin like kicked down one of the i don't know and he was like i'll kick your ass in the cartoon oh it's insane and i hendrix has said that before like he like is it a fights. kid's cartoon or is it like a cartoon for it's like all a kid's ages. cartoon well that's a good Cause some cartoons now cartoons are like cartoons for all ages. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely adult cartoons. So I'm like, if they're saying kick your ass, it what might be. What is going on out here? <laughs> Grown out. I mean, I don't watch? know. I don't have kids, so I'm like, maybe kids. It looked like a kid. No, it looked like a kid. It wouldn't look like something like 
somebody that's into Marvel or like someone that's into that like mm-hmm. would watch. It looked like something a kid would watch. Cartoon. So they're just fighting, but I'll catch him like fighting, and then he'll be like, "Come on, come on, I'll kick your ass." I'm like, "Excuse me." <laughs> And I'm like, you can't say that. He's like, okay. And then he won't say it again, but I was, it, anyways. Well, my pregnancy brain is all over the place. It's just so much catching up to do. I feel like I have not been on YouTube. It's only been like a month. Yeah. It's been like a month. It's been like a month. Oh gosh. Okay, well, I'm super excited, you guys. As you can see, I'm pregnant and it's a girl. <laughs> and I'm super excited because. Might be your last one. I believe so. My body just can't like they know because they've been around, especially my sister, because she saw me pregnant with Shy. I get so incredibly sick. Like mm. it's like imagine being hungover every day. Though. Oh, thank you. And throwing up as well. Okay. Like just imagine that feeling. Were both of your previous pregnancies like the same situation, or were they different? Yes. They were saying, but the thing with Hendrix, like with Shy, I was sick the entire time. I slept on the couch. I didn't even like feel comfortable sleeping in my bed. It wasn't comfortable for me. Oh my God. So I slept on the couch and like my mom would just be there every day to make sure that I eat or like, she'd be like, you want to go outside and get some fresh air? And I just felt so bad. I was throwing up so much that I was just like, no. And then when I was able to hold food down, I still felt nauseous. So I just wanted to eat and go to sleep. And like lay down, yeah. Yeah, like no, it just didn't feel well to me. And with Hendrix too, but I felt like I started feeling better when for like six months maybe. With which one? Hendrix. Close to seven. It was yeah, almost your like whole pregnancy it was really bad. Yeah. And he was very big. He was, yeah. He was long. He's a big. He just, I carry really big. big. Yeah. When like he my came out, he came everything. out like a three month old. Remember they held him up? You were like, he's a big baby. Not too much. <laughs> Not too much on my kids. <laughs> no, so but he long. was he was so long. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so with this pregnancy, in the beginning, initially, I was like just hungry. Like I was just so hungry. Like, and I only craved one thing, smash burgers. Oh. So I was like Did you have cravings with the other ones? Or were you just too sick for like, uh, I think I was too sick, but with Shy, I love cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers, fries, and like a shake. Like that was my shit mm-hmm. to eat all the time. Probably why I gained so much weight, because I just was eating that every day. <laughs> but then with this one, I just wanted smash burgers. Like every day I was trying new spots and I was like asking them, like, have you tried this place? Have you tried this place? I'm like, what is up with you and these smash burgers? Like, <laughs> slow down on smash burgers. And I was just like, I don't know. Like I've just been craving them. My period was like, I remember I did that dance video and everybody's like, are you pregnant? I didn't even know I was pregnant in that video. I was just waiting on my period to come. So I just naturally thought, oh, I'm a little bloated. Or like, I've just been eating a lot because my period's coming. Period never came. Period said bye. Well, and other people. Period said no, girl. There's a baby being made right now. I remember I went out. Oh yeah, you remember that. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. You guys. You guys remember that because. It was the day Marie came over and I took forever to leave the house, remember? I think it was the last vlog. <laughs> the literal last vlog. <laughs> and I had went out the night before and I was just like, the next morning I was like, oh God, I just feel so bad. Like I'm so hungover, I have stuff to do, but I just needed to rest and I felt terrible. And then I remember I took a test that day, right? Yeah, I took a test that day and I was like, oh shit, I'm pregnant. So yeah, that's kind of how I found out. Who's the first person you told? To be honest, I think Marie. I literally answered the door and Joy was like, I'm pregnant. <laughs> like literally. She was like, oh no, wait, what do you mean? Are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. She's like, oh, Joy. And she was like, oh. I was like, no, I'm so nauseous. And I was like, I need to eat, but I don't know what I want to eat. And then I went to Air One and we got healthy food and I felt better, but then I was still tired, you know? So then when I found out, I was like, oh my gosh. I think the second person was mom. What, 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 I think mom Shy was, was the third, cause what she's just, <laughs> oh <What>? joy. <laughs> <laughs> she loved just joy. <laughs> oh joy. Well, you better get ready to have a baby. And I was like, okay. <laughs> 
And then I just told Shy because she has just been like, I think because I'm so hands on with him and I'm just with him every single day and we do everything together. Like the idea of her having like another sibling, but a sister, she just was like, I hope it's a girl, like so excited. Yeah. She just was like wanting a little sibling. Like, yeah. She's like, I want another one. Like Hendrix is too much. <laughs> he be like beating me up and pushing me and acting like such a boy. Like I just want a little sister. So she was like, super excited no i think that the first person i told was marie like you said no. <laughs> the daddy no, okay, of course. Really. i was like how did i skip that that's crazy i'm sure yeah and then yeah so then after that i was like still on a smash burger high and then it all went downhill <laughs> For real. Then yeah. like it was in the middle and all of this was in the midst of me creating a workout program. Right. So I'm still working out and I'm throwing and up and I'm really spitting really and in between really and I'm still well filming well and I'm still working, yeah. but I'm still trying to like get it done. Yeah. So I'm like, I needed to do the challenge because obviously in that time, like for the two weeks I was just eating, 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 eating. I gained so much weight like yeah. that mm. to where I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck? So I was doing the challenge, losing the weight, but I also was just tired. And then I started throwing up, couldn't keep food down. Yeah. So then at, okay. right after we had finished it, yeah. I was still working, sorry. Are you okay? um, she's like, look down, I'm like, <laughs> oh, I couldn't keep food down. And like, by the time we were done filming and we were done like doing the challenge as a whole, I had like felt so much better because I wasn't, I didn't have the energy to work out before, you know? Mm -hmm. So even though I was sick, I was still like working out. And then it even went, it went more downhill because it got real serious i was throwing up to where like i couldn't keep water down i didn't leave my house for like for weeks yeah. like i didn't leave my bed like i was it was really bad i had to get put on uh reglan and they gave the me hospital. zofran i had to go to the hospital and get yeah. ivs because yeah. when i couldn't oh keep gosh. the water down you were just yeah. too dehydrated i was so dehydrated i was weak i felt like i was gonna pass out because yeah. all i wanted to do was just lay down and that's when i was like Okay, this is worse than yes. both of them. Like, oh, no. this is worse. So that's why you think it's only your last. Yeah. Last so that's why I'm like, I just get to the point where I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I know I'm creating a whole human, but then you run into people that are like, no, I had no problems. I wasn't nauseous at all. I didn't throw up at all. Like, they just had this perfect pregnancy, and you're like, what the hell? <laughs> I said that was totally mine. Yeah, like, you didn't have nothing. Labor six hours, four hours, never really nauseous. Yeah. Babies weren't too big. Yeah. It was just too easy. So with me, it's opposite. So. Yeah. Is that rain? It's rain. Yeah. It is. But I will say that with this one, I feel a lot better faster. That's good. good. Yeah, I was gonna say you don't seem like you're in a you lot of discomfort right now. I still, I still just cannot eat certain things. I can't fathom the idea of like eating a steak, mm. or like even certain chicken. Like I can't eat chicken like on a like bone right now. Like Certainly. just the like the colors inside of the chicken like bother me. The slime in it, I just like I can't it just do grosses it. You out. Everything grosses me out right now. And then certain fruit you just can't eat either. Certain can't fruit I can't have like pineapple, oranges, yeah. apples. It's too acidic. I Citrus. Yeah. I can't have orange juice, so it's just hard because like all I can have is water. I can have sparkling water. I I drink that after I eat just to like belch. I guess to make me feel like soda or something mm -hmm. so I couldn't do anything I couldn't work I couldn't work out I couldn't it was very very hard for me in the beginning it's still very tough sometimes in the morning so like I wake up really early between five and six mm -hmm. and it still takes me a minute to kind of get up get something to eat like get myself situated so that I feel okay yeah look up for me. and I just chew gum because the peppermint something i don't know something about the peppermint just makes me feel yeah peppermint actually is good for nausea so yeah. it's ginger yeah there's like a name for what i had it's called hyperemesis gum and a lot of women get it apparently to where like the throwing up and nausea is like so bad to where you have to take medication to keep stuff down oh no yeah i was taking it like on the clock they said take every four hours every four hours because I already it doesn't take the nausea away necessarily but it stops you from just vomiting or cause yeah yeah so you can actually you know like, so you can actually eat nutrients. something yeah. so if you've had that I feel your pain and I would say my pointers with it is make sure you're hydrated even though it's hard 
Um, make sure that you have some peppermint gum. It helped me so much. It like almost takes the nausea away. Hi, Chris. It almost takes the nausea away instantly for me. Eat every like two to three hours. That helped me so much. Like eat small, something small like every two to three hours. Don't just like eat try something to eat big. Much. Yeah, because yeah. then you'll just throw up. Don't try to um, starve yourself because it makes the nausea like worse. Mm -hmm. A shower always makes me feel better. I don't know. Something about taking a shower and going outside. Like with my last outside. pregnancies, I just, not just like bored out with pregnancy talk, but my last pregnancies, um, I was just like helpless. I was just like in the house, in the bed, on the couch. Like I didn't want to go outside. I just was like, no, I feel terrible. So this is the only thing that makes me feel okay. So I just did that with this one. I'm kind of just pushing myself and like being my own motivation. Even if I feel terrible, I'm like, get up, Joy. Like, just get up. Like, you'll feel better once you get up. And when I get up, I do feel so much better. Like, when I take a shower, make sure I have a little bit of something to eat in my system. And then I go outside, just like in the sun, whether you go for a walk or where I'll put my skates on, even though I'm not supposed to be skating. I put my skates on and I'll like skate. I'll go to the beach and like skate for a little bit just to like- Get vitamin D. Yeah, get some vitamin D and just like get some fresh air. And even though like the thought of working out is like non-existent in your brain in those moments, it makes you feel so much better. Like after I go to Pilates and I don't want to, and I leave, I'm like, oh, I feel so much better. You I'm know? Surprised. Or when I go for a walk and I come back, I'm like, oh, I feel much better. So you just gotta force yourself. I'm forcing, I'm literally forcing myself. Like, you know what? We are gonna make the most out of this pregnancy because you didn't your last two. I feel like I kind of like, let my sickness get the best of me and I just wasn't out doing anything. Like I just miss those moments of like those fun maternity classes or like just doing fun stuff while you're pregnant and like really cute little photo shoots and stuff like that. I did some but I just didn't have the energy so I'm excited to just push myself a little bit more and like to stay working out consistently. I do not want to gain as much weight as I normally do. I normally be over 200 pounds by the time I go to deliver and that is ridiculous. I feel like it's, it makes your baby healthy. No, it doesn't because I had <laughs> high blood pressure. <laughs> I'm like, well, I had high blood pressure. I had preeclampsia with Shy, so they're trying oh, to put scary, me on yeah. aspirin every day to make sure. Can I lean back like this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Be comfortable. Um, they're trying to put me on aspirin every day to make sure that it doesn't come back, but I was trying to tell my doctor, like, I think I have preeclampsia because I was just eating everything like it was just so much sodium in the food that I was eating mm -hmm. to where like now 13 years later my eating is much different <laughs> you know like I've gone from like I was healthy but I I was like indulging that was my first pregnancy I didn't know what to do you know now I kind of know better to where I can like just make healthier options and I think it's good that you said you're eating like small things a lot because yeah. that'll keep your metabolism up and keep you from yeah. like overeating no even like this morning my sister's like do you want more because my my nanny was making my son um some pancakes and she makes them like small mm -hmm. so she put like three of them on a plate for me and like some fruit and my sister's like you don't want so more than good. that i'm like no that is enough they were so good that's good well because they were small and then i had some fruit i had some cucumbers so those are like my cravings it's so weird anything crunchy and cold like watermelon. I love watermelon. I love cucumbers and raw veggies like that with hummus. I don't know, like it's just so good to me right now. Acai bowls, I was eating those every single morning when I was in the house. And Caesar salads, and I don't even think I'm supposed to have the dressing because it has raw eggs in it. Does it? It does. I didn't know that. I didn't either until I went to Boa. Raw eggs? And they oh, make the, the salad. They have the best Caesar salad. They make it oh. in front of you. And when he cracked the egg, I was like, no! <laughs> That is not oh, okay. in there. They're like, yeah, what do you think these salads made? I was like, oh. I really didn't know. Me either. I knew it had like anchovies in it, yeah. but I didn't know. I didn't know that Raw until egg. I went there. I didn't know the anchovies. I was like, what the heck? I have been feeling much better. I know that I look further along than I am. Everybody think like I've seen comments of like, damn, she about eight months. Like, damn. You don't look eight months to me. I'm not eight months. Like, damn, she got cankles. Like, not too much. No, I don't. Dang. People just say anything out of their mouth they to pregnant people or about pregnant people. It is insane. Like, what? Like, I'm carrying a whole human. I just made a lung today. Give me a break. <laughs> I just made a lung. Literally. Like, no, I'm making fingers and toes and eyes and 
brains and a woman with a freaking who's gonna have a menstrual period like it's a lot going on in my body if you yeah think about people it. just shouldn't comment on they just shouldn't that process or women's bodies in general but to be honest guys i am four months pregnant i am going to be five months pregnant very soon and i just carry very heavy in my tummy because is my third child and my stomach is already stretched twice and I feel like I've just always had that little not little pudge but you have like a little you know even when you're like small after you have kids it's still there so maybe that's why my stomach tends to poke out sooner a lot sooner I'm feeling good today the one symptom I did not mention I only know I've only met two people who do it as well and it's Kayla's mom and Tawana's mom but it's spitting I have like this spitting thing when I get pregnant. I guess it's like a side effect or a symptom from the hyperemesis of gravidorum is spitting, like excess saliva that in your sense, mouth. That makes sense, so if you're feeling nauseous, I feel like that's a normal. I was spitting so bad the first one, and then the second one I was spitting <laughs> too, and I remember my sister who was doing my hair, and I spilt my spit cup. <gasps> <laughs> and she yelled at me and I started crying because I was so emotional. We were what do you too. want me to do? I was like, what do you want I me want to do? You throw the smit cup in the she was like, why would you have it that close to my leg? I was like, and it was like a oh. lot of spit in the spit cup. It was, it was like, like it was a lot of spit in the spit cup, Joy. It was like this much spit in a, pit, in, in a spit cup. Oh, yeah. It was, it was too disgusting. Much. But like, I didn't know what, I didn't, I didn't know. Like, and people were telling me like, just swallow it. And when I would try Ooh. to swallow it and swallow it and swallow it, I would just throw up and it'd be nothing yeah. to spit. It's disgusting. So I was like, I have to just spit yeah, it, it out. Spit it out I was so mad. She so, so bad I did. <laughs> That was mean. It Meanwhile, was, I was on vacation. Was okay. I was in Cabo and Kayla was like, do you need a spit cup? She was like, don't worry. Like my mom spit like crazy with my little sister. Like I've I've cleaned it up before. I've been like, I've been around it. Like I know it. And I was like, really? And Tawana too, her mom too. Her mom spit too. Those are the only two people I've ever met that had that spitting, that needed a spit cup. So what I started to do was buy like those disposable coffee cups. Mm -hmm. And I bought the lids the and lid. I would stuff them with paper towels. Mm -hmm. And so I would just open it and spit inside of it and close it. And when it would start to get like wet, I would add more paper towels so that so it it's wasn't like just absorbing. It's absorbing it. And like, I just throw it out. Yeah. And get a new one. And it's not like, cause a lot, a lot of like people were telling me to get water bottles. I'm like, who wants to look at that? That is disgusting. A clear water bottle. Yeah. yeah like that is disgusting. Do what she asked her. Sorry, that was like, intermission. My phone rang. I made these plans. So yeah, but like, I went in her room the other day, right? Just to like chat with her and like lay in her bed. It was last Saturday, I think. And I was like chilling with her, chatting with her. And she was on the phone and she just keeps looking over at me. And I'm like, she's like, mom, can you like get out? And I was like, she's like, not like that. But I'm on the phone. I'm talking to my friend and like, you know, <laughs> and I was like, I'm trying to spend time with you. Like, tell your friend you'll call her back. She's like, no. I'm like, you see her every day at school. She's like, yeah, but she's my bestie and we're talking about stuff. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. You don't want to do anything with me anymore. And she's like, it's not that, mom. I'm just growing up. <laughs> what? It's insane. Okay, so I forgot where we left off in the last video. I'm cute. Oh, the spitting. So I just, when I have something to do, like a shoot or something, I will just chew gum. If not, I'll have a spit cup because I'm still spitting. And with Hendrix, I spit all the way up until two weeks after I had him. Remember that? Absolutely. That was my fault though. I think it's because I was doing everything to go into labor because I was so sick of feeling like that. I was like doing everything. I was walking uphill, eating pineapples, bouncing on a ball. Like what else was, I had the pregnancy salad that's like famous out here to make you go into labor. I was like 38 weeks and I was just like trying whatever. I was drinking the raspberry tea, like nothing was working. I'm so tired of being pregnant. Yeah, I would not advise you guys do this at all. But I, what did I do that made me want to labor? I was doing everything. So it could have been a combination of it all, but I finally went into labor maybe like four days after I was trying. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's, it's coming, it's happening. And I was like, I don't want to spit anymore. I don't want to. I spit two weeks after I had him. Like, um, that was God trying to be like, okay, you wanna like, you wanna try to have your baby two weeks early and not be patient? I'm gonna make sure you spit for two extra weeks. Did you get an epidural? Epidural? Oh my gosh, yes. Jeez. 
but I, you know what's crazy? The doctors now, and I'm not like, you know, I'm not trying to be. The doctors have like, I guess what, what they call residences, residence like people that are there like kind of training. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? That's what it is, right? Yes, it's like a residency. Yeah. Sorry, y'all where they have people that come in and they're training to deliver babies. And and I just remember like they were trying to find it and I just got so frustrated Throwback. because, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Look, that's Hendrix when he first came out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So cute though. So I remember that, um, and they stuck me but it wasn't where it was and they stuck me and I said, can you just do it? I just turned to the doctor. Oh, because they're like, like yeah. Because I'm like, can you just do it? Because I don't have the patience for like you trying to train him on my back and I don't got time. Like, please. Just, he was like, oh yeah, I'll just step in and do it. And I was like, I'm sorry. I'm just like, it's a lot going on. I got to spit. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in 12 hours. Like, please. And he was like, okay. So he just went ahead and do it. My back was hurting for months after that because of that. Like months. Like I can't even remember when it stopped hurting. I just remembered like all the sticking, it was just hurting so bad. For some reason, the epidural went straight. It, it's almost like it missed my stomach and went to my legs. I don't know if that's even possible, but I only feel like that because my legs were so numb, but my stomach, I could feel everything. So when I started having contractions, it woke me up out of my sleep. I was screaming and I was like, I need more epidural. And they were like, we can't, it's too late. Like I was already dilated like so much. It was time to start pushing. So I almost felt like, I don't know if it, when I was pushing the button, how I was laying, I don't know. But for some reason I could feel almost every single contraction up until I was pushing because when you push and you have a contraction, it's almost like a relief. It's so strange. I don't know. It's almost, yeah, I don't it, it almost like was a relief. So I ended up pushing him out because my daughter I had a c-section so this was a exact same if I had to do it all over again I probably would do another c-section yeah a v-back is a vaginal birth after cesarean say it with me girls vaginal birth after cesarean yes I've so, heard that's actually really hard it is really hard after really cesarean hard. it's like yeah, Unless but it's your first pregnancy, it's like harder. Everybody's like, oh my goodness, like you have to do a V back, have to do a V back. I did a V back. I said, I could stay over there with the cesareans because the way my felt after for like two weeks, it didn't matter. It just felt like both of them hurt. So you're either gonna hurt from like being cut and like standing and having to walk. And like, remember Dr. Carter came and woke me up. My doctor came and woke me up. And I know he died. Dr. Carter Palmer, he died. Oh, he did? Yeah, he delivered me and then he delivered, he delivered my us. baby, Shy. He died. It makes me so sad because I was my OB. I remember he woke me up and was like, uh-uh, you gotta get up. We gotta start moving around. You gotta start walking. And I was like, okay. What the hell do you want? What are you doing now? We're doing a photo shoot. By the looks of it, can you guess what I'm having? Say it's the girl, Coco! Say it's a girl, go go! You hear a little retarded ass. <laughs> Stop talking about your dog like that. She don't bark, that's my no I know, dog. she doesn't bark. I told Brian maybe her his her dog his dog is um like she's not down syndrome, but she's a little slow. Where are you doing this photo shoot at the some pink house? Hey, baby. I'm ready! <laughs> that's my girl. Hey. Wait, that's my girl. this pink room. Oh, that's cute. Should I put this tutu on with this corset and the hat? Yes, Beyonce season. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't Texas. With this? <laughs> with a little dim and a little shine and a little fun. <laughs> I know you took something. You didn't take anything. Right, like he's like, I know, yeah, I did. Pink dress. I took a pink dress. I said, I just know it's a girl. I took a pink dress and a blue dress. I said, I know it's a girl, so we're going to need a pink dress. And I'm aware pink joy in life. I gave I gave the doctor Marie's number and told Marie and Marie got a cake and then gave me this location to come to. And when I walked in, it was just like pepped up his mall. Oh, good, good, good. I like that. I like that. I like that. You like that? I like that. Literally. You know, that's what this color pink is given. Pepto Bismol. Pepto Bismol. Okay, we'll call me there. Okay, bye. Bye. So, um, 
yeah i'm just taking it day by day i wasn't able to like travel much do much in my first trimester because it was just so bad and i was super sick but we are super excited our little bundle of joy is coming i know trey thought it was a boy because i showed him the pictures and he was like yeah look at mine he was like look at my son what is it? we we know it's a boy look in between his legs i said that's the umbilical cord <laughs> So he was like, oh, damn. I was like, I think it's a girl. I just thought it was a girl from the time I knew I was pregnant. For some reason, because of how sick I was and how my belly is like high and like really, I feel like my waist is still, but my belly is just so, I don't know. So we're super excited and I cannot wait. And you guys are going to be on this journey with me. I'm really trying to make sure I stay hydrated and just motivate and push myself to get up and be active on the days that... I feel like if I don't, obviously I'm just gonna rest, but I'm really gonna try to just do this pregnancy different and just stay more active and make healthier choices and not gain as much weight because since I am 35, I don't want to overdo it. And then after I have the baby, it'd be super hard for me to bounce back because it was super, super hard for me to bounce back with Hendrix and Shy. And I remember I would cry because I was just like, oh, I can't do this. Like I've gained so much weight. Like how am I gonna get rid of it? How am I gonna get it off? Like I was just like finding the motivation every day. So I just wanna make it a little bit easier on myself this time and do a lot of fun things this pregnancy. And yeah, maybe do a little bit more traveling because I do feel great when I travel. I was finally able to get out of the house and my friends were like, hey, go on travel with us. And I was like, all right, why not? So last minute I decided to go with them. So I had a great time, I had a blast and that's where I revealed that I was pregnant because um, I felt really good and I was in a good space. I was in a great environment. It was a beautiful, beautiful vacation. So I'm um, looking forward to I'm breathing all hard just from talking. I'm like, whew. <sighs> I'm looking forward to this pregnancy journey and taking you guys along the ride with me. So I'll tap back in later. <laughs> Oh my god, these are so pretty. Well, this one like, wants to be shy today. Well, I've seen your baby moving. This is like looks normal. Okay. I've seen like the legs and the segments. Like so far so good. Heart rate is good. Baby's brain for that age looks normal. And next time we do the neck. And today's already thin, which is a very good sign. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stubborn. No, I, I try to uh, make the baby jump, but this one does okay. Yeah. They do what they want. <laughs> Can you turn sideways towards me, my side? This way? Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps your baby will dance. Yeah, back on your back. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't like it. No? Yeah, it's doing a big move. Oh. You see that? Oh my oh. gosh! <gasps> you see, I'm nice to you. Doesn't like that. Yeah, I wanted your, I wanted you to see your baby dancing. Look at the legs. Oh, oh my god! Is that cute? So oh, no, cute. You know that you... Oh my goodness! That's so much fun. I haven't seen this in so long. It's so magical. Wow! You see what's happening? Now you have a good reason to be sick. You went where? The show. You went to the show? Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. yeah. Who did you go with? Were you singing the songs? The Tokyo. Mm-hmm. The mom. Mm-hmm. And the prince. Mm-hmm. And Cass went home. Oh, he did? Oh, you had a fun time. You watched Daddy perform? He was singing in his microphone. So if I give you the remote, do you give me a hundred dollars? Hmm. Give me a roll that I give you hundred dollars. You're trying to barter? Yeah. But I'm watching something. I really like this show. Can I finish watching it and then I'll give you the remote and you don't have to give me a hundred dollars. You can keep your money. Can it's all roll? I gave you more than I gave you hundred dollars, okay? Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. But you don't have to give me a hundred dollars. You can keep your money and I'll still give it to you when this is over, okay? Where do you get money from? 
Daddy. What are you going to buy with your money? Toys. Toys? Yeah. What about some books? Don't you want to go buy some fun books? No. No. Yes, I want to I know, but don't you want to buy more? No? You'd rather buy toys? No. I missed you. Oh, can I have a kiss? Sure. Come give mommy kisses. Come here, Spider-Man, my little Spidey. I saw your outfit. Mwah. You had your Spider-Man um, suit on. And my, and my Spider-Man suit, my feet is got ripped again. It got ripped? Yeah. Are it ripped? So you need another one? Yeah. Or you want to go fix it? We got to go fix it. I'm watching American Idol. It's like, I love watching the show, but lately it's been making me cry, and I don't know why. I do know why, but... What do you think the surprise is? I have a surprise for you. What do you think it is? Yeah. A star man. How do you know? <laughs> How do you know? Where is it? <gasps> you need a star man too. Yay. <laughs> I know it's Spider Man suit. You knew it was Spider Man suit? Yeah. How did you know? I I I I buy Spider Man and I buy Spider Man and I said Spider Man. Spider Man suit. Are you happy? Yeah. Okay, good. Are you excited? Gonna put it on when we get home? We're going home. You want to go home? Yeah, yeah, pick her up. Who? Shia. Yeah, she picked Shia. Because you didn't want to go home early. You still wanted to stay. You like staying at school all day. Yeah, I want to go two weeks in. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And I said I want to go two weeks and, and go play Corey. I asked for me. Look at you with your suit on. Wow. Shall you like his suit? What are you doing? I'm going to stand the altar. <laughs> Shy. What are you doing? The sink. What? You're resting? You're almost done? My eyes are just going to heal all my... Well, I'm saying when you're Mommy. done, do you want me to proofread it? Mommy. I want to go see. Mommy. Because you're being kind of mean to me and I don't like it. It's like that teenage stuff. Like, you just don't want to be bothered with your mom, huh? You don't want to be bothered with me? Okay, when the camera's off, don't come in my room trying to kiss on me and my stomach and be all nice and be all under me. Oh my god! You better stop it right can you, now! Can you, can you stop? Stop being such a moody teenager. Can you be such a. Excuse me? Pregnancy hormones. It is not pregnancy hormones. Yes, I'm not the one being... You're being annoying. Oh! <laughs> As if I am not. Now I'm not being annoying. I'm literally just sitting here. <laughs> day was great we got new samples in for new products i'm super happy about that 
I really want to bring you the pink Joy and Life set in an extra small. I think you can fit it. And I think it's the wide leg pants. Okay. Hey. Yeah. <sighs> can you? I love you so much. You're the most beautiful girl in the world. How do you feel about having a baby sister? Thank God. Like, good. Take my bracelets off. No, I'm doing an essay. What 12 year old wears Van Cleef to school and Dior bracelets and Tiffany rings? You don't rings? see it, I'm wearing a sweater all day. And Cartier rings, like what? I just had this, oh my god, my eye. Do you want to catch up with our YouTube fan? You want to tell them how you've been doing? How's life been treating you? Good. Are you excited for spring break? I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Oh. Are you got plans? Oh, yeah. You're gonna finish your homework and I'll leave you alone. Yeah. What do you want for dinner? I don't know. Good pasta. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Shy. Now that I am feeling better and up and at it, I am going to be posting more vlogs, cooking videos. Hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. Until next time. Bye.